Hey guys, BuilderDude35 here, and this week's tutorial is about the EV3 ultrasonic sensor. So here we have out the EV3 programming block for the ultrasonic sensor, and it's got a bunch of different operating modes. As with every sensor in the EV3 language, it has both measure and compare, which I'll go over in just a second. Under measure, we have advanced, distance centimeters, distance inches, in inches and presence. And under compare, we have distance centimeters, distance inches, and presence again. Now, I'm going to start under measure. Distance centimeters and distance inches are very self-explanatory. It's basically going to output through this data wire the number of centimeters or number of inches that the object that is placed in front of this sensor is uh, away. And, of course, you have your choice of unit uh, between centimeters or inches. Now, this advanced section is similar to uh, distance centimeters and inches in the sense that it's going to measure the distance away from whatever object is in front of it. But in this case, we have a choice whether or not we want to choose ping or continuous. And ping, what it's going to do is just send out one ultrasonic signal and wait for it to come back. And continuous, it's going to continuously send out ultrasonic signals and continuously remeasure the distance. This you don't have to so much worry about if you're just the casual um, user, uh, but it's just um, I'm just going to point out the feature that it's there. Finally, we have presence in which the ultrasonic sensor stops emitting its own signals altogether and it listens for other ultrasonic uh, sensors that are in the area. And if it hears another ultrasonic sensor's um, ultrasonic uh, well rays, what it's going to do is going to uh, output yes or no, true or false, whether or not it hears another ultrasonic sensor. And in compare, we have this, uh, most of the same operating modes with the absence of advance. Now the difference between compare and measure, as I've explained in previous videos, is in measure what it's going to do is just output whatever the value is, uh, usually a numerical value, for um, this uh, application and in compare what it's going to do is allow you to set a specified parameter in this case um, uh, the number of centimeters or inches away and it's going to tell you whether or not the current reading of the sensor meets that so in this case what we can do is we can set this to greater than or equal to say 45 centimeters and if the current distance is greater than or equal to 45 centimeters it's going to output true and if it's not, it's going to output false. And again, we have distance in centimeters, just like from the measure case. And we have that for distance centimeters, distance inches, is inches, and then presence or listen. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.